Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here, and i got another very interesting video for you guys today. Now, in today's video, I decided to take it upon myself to talk about Islam for a little bit and its attitude towards women in Saudi Arabia. Now, before I go even further, of course, I wanted to let you guys know that the article will be in the description for everybody to take a look at if you guys are interested. But I wanted to basically read a part of this article to you guys so that you can get a basic idea of what is going on with this situation. Now, Saudi Arabia's most senior cleric has reiterated his support for the kingdom's ban on women driving, arguing it is a dangerous matter that exposes women to evil. I guess his idea of evil is women having rights. <laughs> And that is typically the attitude of a lot of religious people these days. I mean, we see it in Christianity as well. You know, a lot of these people think that women are property, that women do not deserve to have a voice, that women do not deserve to have the same rights as their male counterparts do. And simply, I think that that is rather ridiculous. The kingdom adheres to an ultra-conservative interpretation of Islam and is the only country in the world where women are not allowed to drive. I think that's very unfortunate. I really hate the fact that these individuals think that it's basically necessary to keep women under their proverbial boot, if you will. You know, they deny women basic rights. They treat them as property. And this is something that is really sickening to me. I hate the fact that these individuals basically think that they can do whatever they want to these women. The sad part about it all is the fact that they do actually get away with this, you know. And it's something that does happen, unfortunately. And I actually hope in the future that women in Saudi Arabia are actually able to drive. You know, I actually hope that they are able to do a lot more things in the future. You know, and this is something that I continue to stand for. I continue to support, you know, because I am always against people who think that it's necessary to basically take away rights from women. I think this is stupidity at its finest. And this is another prime example of why I dislike religion so much. It really takes away from humanity. It drains the energy from humanity. And it gets a lot of people to believe in a lot of horseshit, basically. And that is the big problem that I have with this type of thing. A lot of these people, again, think that it's necessary to really treat women like garbage. And in some cases, they treat men like garbage as well. And I have never really liked this type of thing. You know, this type of thing has always been a serious issue for me. So when people think that a fairy tale is real, it has a negative impact on others. You know, unfortunately, in this case, it is women. You know, women are subjected to some of the most disgusting things I have ever known about, to be honest with you guys. And again, hopefully all of this nonsense will actually stop, you know. Women do deserve to have rights. They are human beings, just like everybody else. And this is something that, you know, these religious idiots need to realize. You know, this is something that they need to think about. Women are human beings, and they deserve everything like everybody else has. And that's how I feel about it. So let me know what you guys think. I would really be interested in what you guys have to say about this. So till next time, be good or be good at it.